Hi everyone, and welcome to this edition of Take Charge Now, Retirement Pitfalls to Avoid. The silver tsunami is here right now. We're ready for it and we're ready to embrace it. But first, just a few basics to help set you up for success. It all begins by having your financial house in order and reducing the potential financial mistakes that you could make. Because let's face it, if we get it right the first time, we won't risk significant financial consequences due to a limited ability to recover. Now, here are just a few of the common mistakes that I've actually witnessed people making in retirement. The first is ignoring inflation. I know we talk about inflation a lot, but the actual cost of living can erode your purchasing power and not accounting for inflation can result in a financial shortfall in your retirement. So here's what I want you to do. Plan for the potential increase of goods, the price of goods that you actually purchase. That's all that matters. Budgets, yeah, they're never popular. They get a bad rap, but they do work. They're not carved in stone. They should be flexible to ensure you're not overspending or underspending because at the end of the day, it's all about having a balanced life and a balanced budget. Number three, withdrawing too much money early on in retirement. You could live a lot longer than you ever thought, so plan for it. Underestimating long-term health care costs can quickly drain retirement savings. Now, number four is all about taxes and not planning for it, especially if along the way you've picked up a side hustle and you're paid in pre-tax dollars. Understand what is considered taxable income for your household and plan accordingly. Now is also a really good time to update your estate plan and your wills. Sure, you may have already completed the documentation, thought through the plan, but you may want to ensure that those documents reflect your current wishes. Life can change. You want to ensure your plan reflects the changes that may have happened. And number six is review your investment portfolio to reflect on your investments and your current lifestyle. Being too aggressive or too conservative with your investments, either or, can be risky. You want to maintain, as I've said before, your purchasing power and stay ahead of inflation, yet you may also be in wealth preservation mode. Your portfolio should reflect your time horizon, your tolerance for risk, um, but also figure out how much you can afford to lose and how much you're willing to lose, even on a short-term basis. Number seven is, if you can, consider delaying your CPP benefits past the age of 65. This will increase your benefits in two ways. You get 0.7% of the age 65 amount per month, 8.4% per year, that you defer. That's a gain of up to 42% if you defer from age 65 to 70. So if you have longevity on your side, you can afford to delay, you should look into it. Now, number eight is don't fall for scams. If it sounds too good to be true, we've heard it before, it probably is. Question suspicious activity and continue, please, to be vigilant and informed. Number nine, not seeking professional advice could in fact lead to missed opportunities or even mistakes. Retirement planning isn't easy. It can be complex and you want to get the most of your money. And the last one, 10, you know that thought, leave it and forget it? Mm -mm. You know what? That's not the way to go in retirement. Retirement is not a static state. It's dynamic and it's constantly changing. So I hope you can avoid a few of these potential missteps it will require really careful planning. However, if we put just a little effort in up front, it can have a significant impact on your overall quality of life.